So I want to talk a little bit today about Finana Ryugu. Now for a little bit of context, Finana has not been always the most popular member of Niji Sanji. And to speed run some past controversies, she had previously upset fans by complaining about parasocial fans while at the same time engaging in girlfriend experience ASMR, which some people thought was hypocritical because parasocialism is kind of the entire point. I'll leave it to you to debate whether or not these comments were based or cringe. We're moving swiftly on. Her next controversy was over the term traps, which she was banning in chat, with one side of the fence saying the term is a harmless term used by anime fans to describe femboys, while other people say that it's a term thrown at trans people derogatorily and is therefore a transphobic comment. Again, I'll leave that up to you to debate amongst yourselves, I'm not getting into that here. But the reason I'm bringing this up is because we're setting a pattern of her giving out controversial hot takes that are not received well by her community. And as you may or may not remember, one of the biggest hot takes she gave was shortly after Zion Lanza got fired, she had some interesting comments to make about Zion and their relationship, which I will play for you now. I'm sure you guys saw some of the recent news that happened. Probably the craziest arc I've ever been through. With the recent announcement about Zion that happened, I actually have a lot, <laughs> a lot of feelings that really welled up in me because I believe on what was mentioned on the termination thing. It mentions things like how she lied to other people and stuff and apparently happened to be one of those people actually. So I was really, I was feeling really, really depressed for quite a while. So I've never had that happen to me before. So it was really wild, but I hate that I'm a really nice person sometimes and like to give others the benefit of the doubt. But there was one time where I was trying to help her out. I gave her some advice, you know, do it properly, but she didn't really listen to what I said, so that got her in trouble. And I thought it was a misunderstanding from staff side, so, you know. And this happened like during my vacation, my recent vacation, and I spent some of my time to sort of defend her a bit. But then I realized I got gaslit after that. I was like, oh my God. I didn't realize I was just gaslit the entire time. And I did all of that for nothing, basically. So I... I felt really horrible about it and I was really sad that she didn't really mention to me either about it or talk to me about it so I was I felt really hurt for a while and it was really really bad so it it never really improved on later on so it was so 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 horrible and she was apologizing to me you know for things that she still did after apologizing and I was like, okay, I think that might have been the last straw for me. And the reason I give you all of this backstory is because recently, Sayu Synchronicity, the reincarnation of Zion Lanza, has had this to say about her relationship with Finana back when she was in Niji Sanji, where Zion is accusing Finana of being a backstabber. Honestly, uh, what's said in the announcement is pretty simple and clear, I feel like. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh no! That sounds like something someone who... Okay, I'll be nice and say that that's something that... English is not her native language. So, and I'm not saying that her English sucks or anything like that. I'm just saying maybe she thought these things just actually happened. If you believe what those things are at face value, if somebody says this person was lying about getting a sponsorship, you know, that's what one of the things that were on the, on the thing, then, then fine. I guess I just don't get that because I, I don't understand believing a company over your friend. There are people out there who do that. I just think it's, I think it's sad. That's all. I don't think it's a good thing to do unless you really consider that person to just be worthless to you. The thing that makes me mad about this, whether she actually thought this or not, what happened on the termination was actually true or not. And again, she's not used to having this kind of power because influencers have a lot of power in what we say. We have to be very careful about what we say. What she said here makes it sound like Zion is a more horrible
horrible person and that everything is true. Whether or not she realizes that or not, and because she was in a position that she would know, right? Because she, they were they were genmates. Have I spoken to her since last week? No, because I have no reason to. Because I actually expressed that I still thought that we could talk things out and be friends. But I know that she does not want that. Like, I've been backstabbed by a lot of people. I actually had a huge PTSD of females for a very long time because of what happened. I used to really dislike other females because I was very scared of them. And I knew that they would be very dishonest with me. It happened again kind of thing, you know? Like, why couldn't you just talk? And this happened twice with another girl there, obviously, who was one of Zion's, someone that Zion thought she was very close to as well. And she also got backstabbed after they talked, which was even worse. They talked privately and and cleared up everything and explained things and she basically told the story that got told before they talked it was her thoughts on what happened before they even talked things through and that's why i am angry at her because it's like the whole talk never happened between the two of them like they talked privately in dms and oh boy i wish i wish she had screenshotted that but it was very very long like i do not like accusing people of doing things that are bad or negative i don't like doing that because a lot of people just make mistakes i make mistakes a lot of people just have bad wording, but I do not do not understand why she would talk about what happened if they had already talked things through as if they had like it's very very hurtful and I think that being in the industry in this space for so long she knows the weight of her words not like Kotoka where Kotoka maybe didn't know the weight of her word how much it would affect and hurt the person afterwards but the other one definitely did and that is what I don't like I think that is very ill-willed I'm not gonna weigh in here as to who I think is in the right or in the wrong but one thing is clear and that is the community has been absolutely ragging on on Finana pretty relentlessly since that drama and it definitely has not stopped and as you can see in this tweet here she says I never want to sleep with my mouth open again it wasn't a spider but the fact that I heard a crunch made me lose my appetite this morning I want to kill myself to which flips he said maybe steer clear of suicide jokes after two of your co-workers attempted and as you can see here that comment from flipsy has absolutely ratioed Fanana's original comment. You can really tell how much the community really hates Fanana when she just uses a quick KMS as hyperbole in a tweet and people are immediately at her throat. For that tweet. I have more I could say and I have tweets that I could review but I'm choosing to keep this one short and sweet because I don't want to bias your opinion. I want to hear your genuine unfiltered opinion based on what I've presented you here with today. So I pass this question off to you. Do you think the hate against Finana is warranted or do you think the internet is overreacting and harassing a VTuber who did nothing wrong? That's all I have to say. Bye guys.